about you guys, but usually when a show becomes popular, I don't have access to actually seeing said show. It's not like a movie where you can just literally go and watch said movie. So when a musical becomes popular, or if I really, really want to see the musical, I download the cast album. I kind of just interpret what I think the show is about. So that's basically what this video is going to be about. Today I'm going to be talking about the cast album The Band's Visit, the Tony Award winning musical of this year. Before the Tonys, I had no prior knowledge of the show. I still don't have any prior knowledge of the show other than the fact that I've listened to the cast album twice on my phone, uh, actually three times because I had to write my script to the High School Musical book. Don't judge. I do know that little snippet of what they were doing of Omar Sharif. But otherwise, I have no prior knowledge of what the show is about, what the characters' names are other than like the titles, none of that. So basically what I'm just gonna be telling you guys is what I think the band's visit is about, just basing it off of the cast album. This could be ridiculous. This could be completely off. Or this could be actually close. After I'm done telling you guys what I think the show is about, I'm gonna look it up on Wikipedia and see if I got it correct. So, here we go. I think the band is actually called is... This is a really bad inference, uh, and I'm probably most likely wrong, but I think that the band is called Omar Sharif. I think. Or that could be just one person. I'm, I'm not quite sure. As I, as I said, I'm just I'm just guesstimating at this point. Sorry the, the lady's a little ratchet. Uh, and sorry about my hair. Again, it's like a thousand degrees here in Canada. So we start the show off where the band members are waiting. It sounds like they're in trouble for something, uh, kind of like, but it's it, sound, it doesn't sound like this is where they were playing and then they went somewhere. It's kind of like a connecting flight, but maybe they took the bus or something. I'm not even sure when this actually takes place. This could be in present time. This could be in the 90s. This could be a hundred years ago, probably not a hundred years ago, but because I mean they mentioned a television, so I don't know. This could be maximum 50 years ago. These people are just waiting. Basically what I'm doing for Fan Expo this year. I believe that this band was on their way to Egypt to play in a concert, but they were stopped by the cops because they believe that they were part of some kind of criminal activity. And so was the woman whom I don't know what her name is because it literally Either they don't say it in the cast album at all, or they do say it and I just completely don't know. So they don't know what they did wrong, they're innocent obviously, but they are forced to stay wherever they are. I know that they say it in the cast album, but I don't want to even look up lyrics, so they're somewhere. They're in the middle of a desert, barren wasteland. This was supposed to be connecting flight and now they are basically stuck. So this woman gives them a tour around and she also gives them a place to stay. And she also happens to own a cafe. And suddenly the woman starts to get really personal and she starts asking the general, who I'm not, I'm, I'm not even sure if he's in the band or if he's just protecting them or or if he's watching to make sure that no, they're not doing something illegal. I don't really know if that's their bodyguard or something. Basically, he, they literally just call him General. So the woman gets really personal about uh, her life, asks the general about if he has someone that, she, that he has like a wife or something. He says no, and she's just like, hmm, cool. I'm a tap dad. So basically she's kind of complaining a lot and then he says like he's and he talks about some girl that he met oh wait no I think I think this general actually does have a girlfriend or he fell in love at first sight with this woman with ribbons in her hair or something. This could have been someone else actually but I'm just gonna say it's the general for argument's sake. So the general talks about how he uh, fell in love with this girl while he was playing in the band. I guess he's in the band now. He fell in love with her and I guess he didn't have the guts to talk or something. Dance party, transition. Uh, later on, some, maybe a few days goes by or something. There, I have no perception of time for the show. They're enjoying their time there. They're, they're just enjoying life. They're having a dance party at this cafe. And then she starts talking about how she's loves Omar Sharif. In my inference, it's the band, but it could be a guy. Like, she's basically fangirling over, like, 
Josh Groban, for example, basically how I fangirl over Josh Groban when I listen to The Great Comet of 1812. She talks about her childhood and stuff and like how her and her mom used to just bond over listening to Omar Sharif. Okay, this could have been an actor name for all I know and <laughs> I didn't do any research. Another transition dance party. Poppy, one of the uh, members, I'm assuming he's kind of like a ladies man or something because all he talks about is getting, um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he gets caught by some dude, maybe the boyfriend or husband of whoever is uh, he's having coitus with, uh, and then uh, he dies because and he's now in the ocean, which is weird because they're in the desert, aren't they? And then he dies. For some reason, he's singing to us about his death. That's where the body gets stumped, in the ocean. That's why the song is called Pappy Hears the Ocean or something like that. So the general and the woman start to get really close. And I guess Haled uh, gives the general love advice about like what you should do on the most perfect date ever. I think that he, because there's a, there's a dance break in the middle of it, or at least there's like a really long moment where they're not singing. There's gonna be a dance break. So he's also teaching the general how to dance. Then I believe that the woman and the general, they're having a good time. The woman shows the general a part of town where like, it's not so nice. Town is struggling and they're not just not, she's just not showing him that part until now because I guess he must have assumed that this is a perfect place to live or something. And she's just like, no. It's not, so she shows him the park. And then, <laughs> as she's asking him questions, she decides to drug him, and then he falls to the ground, and that's why he doesn't answer her questions. So while he is being kidnapped, and the woman is, I guess, holding him hostage for some reason, uh, he is singing and looking out the window, and she's just like, what the hell is he doing? So her conscience is kind of like, really getting to her and she's just like oh my god i think i really like this guy i think i'm in love with him so the next song of course is tick rem reminisces about uh, his son and his ex-wife ex-girlfriend one or the other so the woman is still debating trying to get him out she's all like oh my god this could be like the man of my dreams and then she actually finally asks what the f are you doing like, what are you, like, are you singing? He's, I think he's singing in another language or he's talking in another language. That's why she, that's why she doesn't understand him. And finally gets cleared and they just, they just decide, I guess, to go home. And they, I think they find Poppy's body at some point, uh, probably when she took him to the park because she mentions the ocean. Maybe I should have mentioned that beforehand. The general and the girl run away and they go to Egypt together and the band decides to have a concert or something to say it before leaving to say thank you. Or that could actually be the bows. That could be the bows. So <laughs> I have three different, I have three different thing, ways that the show could have ended. They kind of either have A, gotten out safely, B, they have a concert, or C, they're just bowing. We don't even know what happens at the end. The bonus track doesn't count. That was my interpretation of what I think the band's visit is about. Now, Let's Wikipedia this. I don't want to give you guys any spoilers uh, in case you actually do want to see the show. Uh, so I'm just gonna read this off camera and then I will come back and I will tell you guys, I will show you my reaction basically about how accurate or inaccurate I was. I will be back. Okay then. I was really off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm so confused. Like what? What? Okay. <laughs> just trying to comprehend because I'm just like, I tried my best <laughs> to figure out what, it, what, what exactly was going on, but it turns out like nothing was accurate. Like nothing. Like, well, I mean, I mean like one or two. <laughs> minuscule things but nothing otherwise happened so that's as much of a spoiler I'm gonna say about this I'm just gonna say uh I was wrong <laughs> uh, so yeah me listening to it, it's gonna be completely different so uh, if you guys want to see me do this for other musicals uh, comment down below what musicals you guys want me to talk about. There are some musicals, uh, like really popular musicals that I listened to like half of the cast album, but then eventually just got so lost that I just had to look up the Wikipedia page. So that was me for like Dear Evan Hansen and Hamilton. Uh, but if you guys want me to talk about those shows, like what I thought that they were about before I actually looked them up, because some of them were like confusing. 
<laughs> and weird uh, or any other cast albums comment down below I'm always looking for new musicals to listen to uh, because you know I love musicals so if you guys want me to do this more or if you guys don't want me to do this ever again just let me know so make sure that you guys like this video and subscribe to become an official sparkler and uh, comment down below any suggestions or video ideas you guys may have so thank you guys so much for watching uh, and I will talk to you guys later keep common sparkle on